Will you have a drink? No, thanks. Tell me something. When you and Vera are both together, what do you talk about? You know, she was very quiet to start with. She wouldn't really say much at all, but, uh, but the best part is when she starts speaking, I don't get a chance to talk. We talk about general things. We speak about our friends and our lives and the office and that's it. If I want to win her heart, then what will I have to do? Sir, you have a PhD in this subject, so why are you asking me about it? <laughs> well then, tell me. You are so close to her and she is very free with you too. Her likes and her dislikes, you know all that, right? You know, generally, uh, every girl likes to be complimented once in a while. Tell her that she has a great sense of style, and she really carries herself very well, and that she looks beautiful when she smiles, and she looks even prettier when she laughs, and... Enough, enough, enough. I'll take care of the rest. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you write some pointers for me? Me? I should write the pointers for you. Yes. Just for reference, I have to complete the purpose of my visit, right? Hmm. And one more thing. Don't feel bad. If you keep seeing Vera like this, she won't have any, any time for me at all, you know. I asked you to be with Vera and keep her company until I got you. Now I'm here. But you're not giving her any space at all, Kushan. <laughs> this is really unexpected. You are... What are you talking about? Do me a favor. Next time, when Vera and I are together, then don't come along. Let me spend some time with her. Give me some space. Yes. And one more thing. You insisted on taking me home, but I want to stay at a hotel. I hope you don't mind. Hello? Hey! Hey, great! How are you all doing? What a big surprise! All of a sudden, you did not even inform us. I would have come to the airport to pick you up. Look, he's already asking so many questions. First, let's decide which questions you will answer and which questions I will no, answer. No, no, there is no need for that. There is only one answer to his questions. We were missing you a lot, so we came. Oh, yes. All right. That's great. <laughs> it is a good thing that you came by. Even I was missing you both. Come, 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 come in. Oh, oh I'm impressed, Kushan. You have maintained the house really well, haven't you? Yes, yes. Ah, so, how are things? Should I get something for you both? No, 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 no. The reason we're here is for something else. We have good news that we want to tell you. Oh, really? About Bunty? No, dear. It's not about Bunty. It's about you, Gushan. We have found you a very special and beautiful bride. You already like her? Yes. Who is the poor girl? Why poor? My daughter-in-law is going to be lucky. Mm. Mm. Mother, listen. I live here now. I have to set up my business and it's going to take time. Why is there such a hurry to get married? Hey, son, look, when I was your age, I was already your father. Father, which year did you get married in? That was a long, long time ago. Time has changed now. Son. The times might change, but our traditions and culture remain the same, don't they? Let's just do one thing. Yes? We should tell Kushan the name of the girl, then you will see how he will immediately agree to get married. Correct. Mm? Really? Now even I want to know, who is she? Do I know her? Of course you know her. And, um, you know her really well, and also from your childhood as well. Who are you both talking about? Should I? Tell him. Should I? Mm. Should I tell you? Our Misha.